What will we find at the end of the universe? That question has plagued even the most brilliant minds throughout history. While that question is intriguing, another one closely follows. Is there even an edge of the universe, or are we living in an infinite world? Fortunately, scientists now have an answer to these persistent dilemmas, so brace yourself as we dive into a world of endless possibilities. The curiosity to know what's beyond the known limits of our universe is one that scientists have been struggling with ever since they developed an understanding of a world beyond Earth. What lies outside the edge of the universe? The simple answer is, it's complicated. To understand what lies outside the universe, we first need to define what we mean by the universe. If we consider the universe to be everything that can exist in space and time, then it means that nothing can exist outside of it. And if you think that the universe has a finite size and imagine something outside that volume, then anything outside the edge is also part of the known universe. Similarly, if you believe that it is infinite in size and has no edge, the term universe should be applied to everything known and unknown. Now, do you understand why we said it was complicated in the beginning? Let's look at things from another angle. While the universe is believed to be infinite, we can only observe a small part of it, which is called the observable universe. The size of the observable universe is 93 billion light years in diameter, with a 46 billion radius. However, that doesn't necessarily mean that you will reach the edge of the observable universe if you travel 46 billion light years from Earth. That's because when we look at a distant galaxy, we are looking at something that existed in that position in the past. The light emitted from that galaxy would have taken millions or even billions of years to reach us. So, if we place a cosmological-sized ruler between that galaxy and our planet, we can see the proper distance between the two points. You can also consider it the separation between the Earth and the galaxy at any given time. But traveling in space isn't as simple as moving in a straight line. The universe constantly expands, which means the distance between two distant objects in space increases with time. Here, light is emitted from a galaxy 300 million years ago at a proper distance of 294 million light years from Earth. However, the Earth is moving away from the emitted light photons as they are traveling towards our planet. So, instead of 294 million light years, the photons travel another 6 million to reach Earth. But when they reach us, the proper distance of the galaxy will be around 306 million light years. The edge of the universe is the particle horizon, or the proper distance we can see at the current time. This means when we are looking at distant objects in space, we are looking back in time because by the time light emitted from an object from the particle horizon reaches us, it may have moved out of the horizon entirely. So, to reach the particle horizon, we need to move through expanding space. But the problem is, the closer we get to the edge, the more space will have expanded over the remaining distance. This is how we can deduce that our universe must be larger than the fraction we can observe. But that doesn't tell us if our universe encompasses all that exists, or whether it's only one of many universes making up a multiverse. One thing we know for sure is that the universe has an edge. However, that edge is not in space, but in time. The Big Bang occurred at a known, finite time in the past, around 13.8 billion years ago. This implies that there's a limit to how far we can see. Even at the speed of light, there's a boundary beyond which we cannot observe the universe. Today, when we look at the universe, we see it as it exists 13.8 billion years after the Big Bang. But the farther we look back in time, we can see the edge of the universe. So, what's different about the observable universe at the particle horizon and its current state? Currently, most galaxies are huddled together in galactic groups, like the local group and rich clusters like the Virgo cluster. Between these galaxies are massive areas of empty space known as cosmic voids. The galaxies within these groups are a combination of spirals and ellipticals, where a typical galaxy like the Milky Way would form one new sun-like star every new year. The chemical composition of our universe is mainly made of hydrogen and helium, with only 1-2% to of matter comprising heavier elements from the periodic table. These heavier elements are responsible for forming rocky planets and complex chemistry. At the current age of our universe, we can find a variety of galaxies, some actively forming stars, while others haven't created a single new star in billions of years. Some galaxies even have active black holes. But in general, the galaxies we see today are evolved, large and clumped together. However, as we look farther and farther away, a new picture evolves, allowing us to glimpse a universe much different from the one we see today. 
As we look back, galaxies are smaller in mass and less evolved, and the space between them is smaller. There are more spiral and fewer elliptical galaxies with a much higher proportion of bluer stars. This picture leads scientists to believe that the galaxies we see today actually evolved from these smaller, lower-mass galaxies that morphed together over cosmic timescales. But as we move further away from our present to a distance of 19 billion light-years, we see a much different universe, one that's only 3 billion years old. Around this time, the universe's star formation peaked, and new stars formed rapidly about 20 to 30 times at which new stars are formed today. Another notable and impressive feature of the early universe was an enormous number of supermassive black holes that actively emitted massive amounts of particles and radiation as they swallowed matter surrounding them. But as we observed the universe when it was only 1 billion years old, the star formation rate was much lower, only 25% of what it would be at the peak. Around this time, the existence of rocky planets may have been impossible, and all the galaxies in the universe should be in their initial stages, brimming with young stars. So, what will we find when we reach the edge of the universe? A void? Or more galaxies and stars? Probably the latter. Cosmologists are divided on whether the universe is infinite or just excessively large with a finite volume. To measure the observable universe, astronomers consider its curvature because if it is flat, it can be infinite. But if it's curved, it may have finite volume. Based on years of observations and measurements, we know the universe is almost perfectly flat, but that doesn't necessarily mean it is infinite. The universe could be flat yet closed in on itself. But even if we think of the universe as finite, there's no guarantee of an edge or an outside. Maybe our three-dimensional universe is embedded in a larger, multi-dimensional construct. Unfortunately, we currently have no way to test this hypothesis. Similarly, our current technological limitations stop us from viewing the universe at its earliest stages to when everything could be described as a primordial soup. Let's not forget that the edge of the universe is unique to our perspective. The extent to which we can look back into time is 13.8 billion years in all directions, but that depends on the space-time location of the person viewing it. We can observe the early universe as far as our telescopes allow us, but we cannot avoid the boundary that will always be there. Therefore, the mystery regarding what lies at the edge of the universe will remain one, because no matter how long we wait, there will always be an edge that we'll never be able to see past. Do you agree? Let us know your opinions in the comments section below. Thanks for staying with us till the end. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Also, subscribe to our channel and press the notification bell for more exciting space videos. Until next time, stay curious!